Welcome to Lanzarote folks. Join me on this epic adventure as I travel from the south of the island all the way to the north of the island and capturing nice vistas of the volcanic landscape. Well guys, I'm uh, at the south of the island at the minute. What three words on the screen now for you where I'm at. I'm just capturing some lovely, lovely pools of water here. The natural pools of Landrotti in the south of the island. Lovely seascape, sun's just going down, eclipsing that cloud now. Just want to capture that, sorry folks. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning location this. Beautiful seascape. This rock pool here is absolutely gorgeous. Lovely crystal clear waters. Lovely gigantic pebbles at the bottom of it. Sun's just going down. Beautiful. Settings for this one, F9 to F11, all the way up to F16. Just so I can get that lovely starburst as well. Uh, starburst, sunburst, sorry folks. Beautiful. And the pool of water just right in front of me. When that water just calms down a bit, it's beautiful, it really is. Anyway folks, here's the image. Well guys, I'm actually done here, got a few beautiful sunset scenery here. I'm now going to push on and I'll see you at next location. Bye for now. Well guys, the, uh, the wind's picked up now. Really got to make a really fast shot of speed for this one because it's giving a bit of a shake on the actual tripod and camera itself. But what a morning, what a morning. So this morning, just hold my tripod while I'm talking to you. This morning I was capturing the Milky Way, climbed this uh, extinct volcano in the darkness got some beautiful shots of the Milky Way. I didn't have my, my night lens, my 2.8 or anything like that. I was shooting at f4 and it was coming out really clear as well. Absolutely fantastic, nice silhouette of the mountain, Milky Way in the background. This morning though, I'm actually looking into the National Park of uh, Lanzarote. Fantastic location this. If you've got the chance to actually visit Lanzarote and do a bit of photography here, do come up to this spot. This spot, three words on the screen now for you. Uh, it's en route to a place called El Gofo 
from Yaza. You just pull over side of the road, there's a little parking area for about four or five cars there, so that's no problem. Climbing up here in the dark is though, do bring a head torch and proper footwear. If you've got gloves, bring them as well because you will end up, these, these rocks are sharp, but do wear good footwear. Anyway, let's get on to photography, nothing about health and safety. Let's get on to photography, eh? So, <clears throat> this morning I'm picking out singular volcanic old volcanoes and I'm just looking into the horizon there. The sun is just about to peak and it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely fantastic. I've got my 70 to 200 mil, mil lens on and just picking out some awesome, awesome skyline scenery. Beautiful. So here's some pictures that I got. So guys, that was a couple of pictures uh, I just got there of this skyline here. I'm going to continue now and get some more shots and hopefully I might get a nice uh, sunburst this morning eclipsing uh, the skyline here. Beautiful. So this morning guys, I was on uh, manual focus. I've uh, switched to auto focus, single spot really fast shutter speed because there is a sh bit of shake on my camera there. Wind has really picked up. I'm at one two hundredth, one two hundredth of a second. I'm shooting at F11 all the way through. ISO 100, awesome image, awesome. Woohoo! guys that is me done here beautiful so a quick scout about make sure I'm not missing anything and oh wow look at that beautiful guys see you at next location bye for now Welcome guys uh, to the, the green cave of Lanzarote. I'm here to capture uh, a nice scene down here, basically uh, of a cave. So I won't mention too much up here and spoil it for you. Let's get down there and uh, capture that moment just for that cave. Uh, three words on the screen for this location. You can't actually miss this place. It's uh, just Google map it and it comes up straight away. And there we are, it's the uh, Curva de las 
Verdes. There's my, that's all the Spanish I know for you. So anyway, let's get down there and uh, let's capture that cave. Bye for now. Okay guys, that's me down at uh, the caves now. <clears throat> a particular shot I'm after is a nice big cavern shot. It is, just watch your head in this place is. Uh, top tip of, if you're ever doing this location, just hang around to the uh, back of the queue. You can actually take your time taking your photographs. But yeah, beautiful. Oh, well, a cave. I've been here before, so this is why I know why to hang around at the back. Let me just swing the camera around. So guys, I got the image that I was after. Uh, you have to really do hang about at the end to uh, get that image. Um, for this location though, you are ushered about really, really fast. So do prepared, put your settings in your camera before you uh, take that image, the final image that is. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but here's that image. green cave brilliant location do visit it and uh, try and capture a nice image of it really spectacular place anyway see you soon guys next location bye for now well guys what can I say uh, I'm here at a place called the stratified city in Lanzarote Amazing place. Uh, no need for my tripod, it's bright enough. Shooting possibly about F16 down to F11. Uh, it's five o'clock in the evening here. All handheld today. Got a couple of models as well. So uh, I'm actually on holiday with them. So they volunteered themselves to be the models and uh, see what shots I can come up with uh, shooting. Super bright light. So. Uh, uh, I might actually visit this place for a, uh, a sunset or possibly a sunrise. Maybe a sunset shot for this place, but let's see how we go with this place. Uh, it's called a stratified city. Really strange, uh, like rock formations popping out of the ground and uh, obviously being eroded away over time through erosion, you know, water, the wind. But yeah, let's have a look around and uh, let's see what we can come up with. See you in a minute. Bye for now. Okay, so I'm going to try this for a location, get my models up on this little peak here and uh, see how they turn up. So let's give them a shout. Cool guys, so I've just had Eamon and Lucy uh, up on the, uh, the mounds there. Uh, fantastic shot. Listen, do visit this place. It's good for all your Instagram shots, but Instagram thing is not my thing, more landscape photography me, but still a fantastic place to visit and I'm still 50-50 to give this place a visit at sunset. It, it can be such a spectacular place, but we'll see how we go with the sunsets in Lanzarote. You've got so much to show you and so much to pick and choose from. But again, thanks to Eamon and Lucy for volunteering for their service for their model requirements. I'm sure they'll be happy with the images. Right, thanks again. Just to reiterate, three words on the screen for this place before I leave this place. But anyway, stratified city, awesome. See you next one. Bye for now.
Welcome back guys to uh, another location here in Lanzarote. This one's quite special for me because this is going to be my favourite one of all what I'm going to do. A sunset looking across to the National Park Timon Fire and one particular volcano itself is Volcan El Silverna or Silverno or Silver... Silverno. 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 Caravano. Caravano. Got it right. Caravano. Vulcan El Caravano. Text on the screen for you. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yes, to, to get to the viewpoint that I'm after, I am going to be going up this. Obviously, uh, the ground itself is very, very hard going. It's like being on a, a, a step machine because it's like a, a shingle that you're climbing as well. Uh, I'm going to swing the camera around once I'm up the top, but uh, the view, view over there is going to be magnifico, hopefully, and nice and sweet. Easy parking. You might be able to just see the cars over there in the background here, the glint on the, uh, from the sun. Plenty of ample parking here. If you are coming to Lanzarote, top tip, do get a car. It cost me about 130 euros to hire the car for the whole week. And... Uh, definitely makes a difference get to get into places anyway using public transport or rather than using public transport anyway but let's get up to the top here and uh, let's get a camera gear set up gear the view that I'm capturing for sunset sunsets in about an hour's time ample amount of time to climb this little hill anyway but it's gonna be hard going I've got the weight on my back tripod on my lenses and climbing this little uh, mound of a hill. Right, see you at the top guys. Bye for now. I'm just going to pan this around guys so you can see me. Uh, that's why I've just pushed off the top of the summit because it is a bit windy up here. But I'm just going to give you a 360 view from where I am now, capturing a sunset tonight. Hopefully, the, uh, the colours of the uh, Lanzarote sky are going to work for me tonight. And get all of these peaks in the background up here. A couple of uh, Instagrammers here, very uh, well known Instagrammer uh, location. This so. Uh, Yes. Right. Let's get my gear up and ready to go. Bye for now. Well, guys, that's me setting up now for sunset. It's a busy place, so don't expect to have this place to yourself. And what I'm capturing is that lovely volcanic collapsed mountain right in front of me. Try and get up high as possible, nice vantage point. Brilliant. So, hopefully, colours in the sky are going to be absolutely amazing. Lovely orange tint right in front of me. But we'll see how we go with the filters I'm going to use. I've got a point six in I'm working work to point nine grad in my lens is 24 to 105 g lens and just zoom in about 80 mil on that and hopefully i'll get some lovely colorful sky got a lovely leading line the path going to the extinct volcano and then hopefully that sky is gonna be sweet lovely push down this side off the mountain so windy up the top but uh, as you can see folk uh, flying their drones as well I didn't bring my drone there's too many drone laws here and if you get caught by the police flying your drone where you shouldn't be whew, big trouble right Put it on time lapse, I think, and uh, I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye for now. Okay, guys, what an absolute gem of a 
a sunset behind me here. The sun is just going over that, those mountains. I'm going to quickly change my lens to the 7200, throw that on and get that going over the mountains. But also I'm capturing this foreground image of this lovely collapsed volcano. Right, I'm going to switch lenses quickly and uh, capture this shot here, that sun just going over the, the, uh, the mountains there. Speak to you in a minute. Bye for now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, guys, what a sunset. Lovely uh, view on my 70 to 200 mil lens. Zoom telephoto in skyline. Sun going down just behind them. Also 24 to 105 on 0.6 gradin and 0.9 gradin because earlier on it was like super bright. Shooting at f16 all the way up to f18 as well. Uh, the uh, collapsed volcano just in the foreground, lovely leading lines of the path going to the volcano itself. You've seen the images and uh, the vista behind it, gorgeous. Guys, that is me done in Lanzarote. I'm not going to be pushing any further north uh, to, up to Famara. I've been there before, done the reflections, and they're absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, this time around, Famara Beach for me and Mirador. No, because the tides aren't working out to the sunset and the sun sunrises. So when you're visiting places like Famara Beach, do make sure you, you, your tide is out for that one. Fantastic place, Lanzarote. Give it a visit. And uh, if you come here to do la uh, landscape photography, hire that car, get yourself about the island. Uh, it makes a hell of a difference. But look at the views behind me here. It just takes your breath away, it really does. Right. See you very soon in the highlands of Scotland, folks. Enjoy the images. Bye for now.